What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin and welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So Rachel and I just spent over two hours going through our goat herds. If you guys remember, we had three different herds here just recently in three different pastures. We had the Picos over here in the front field. We had all the weaned Spanish and Kikos over in the little field. And then we had our big goats, the Kiko and Spanish in the big field with Cora and Leesky. Well, we just spent a couple hours going through, figuring out which ones we want to get rid of, which ones we wanted to keep. Uh, we ended up keeping one of the bucks from Bo and two of the females <clears throat> from Bo that are kids. But uh, the rest of them, we didn't get a uh, concrete count on them, but I am going to guess there is about 50 or so in this trailer. And we are fixing to haul them off to the auction. So. It is, uh, it's 102 degrees today. Today's not the best day to be doing this. This is why I got this trailer parked over here in the shade. And uh, we literally just did it. I just went in and changed my shirt because I was soaking wet. And uh, I've, I kind of wanted to film this, but it's another one of them tasks that we had to get done. And anytime you're trying to film anything, it's hard to concentrate on what you got to get done. And uh, when you got an arm or a hand with the camera in it, you got one that's not useful for grabbing these goats and I'm telling you trying to grab 50 of these goats even though if they're not big goats it's not the easiest thing thankfully all these have horns but some of them are slicker than snot you guys ready to take your ride huh here you take your ride so yeah I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you guys how many we have in this trailer I mean this trailer is cram packed full we could probably fit a few more in there, um, but we want to be able be able for them to get some ventilation and stuff. It's a windy day, or I probably wouldn't have done it today. Um, sometimes when it's this hot, but there's no wind, it is just way too hot. Thankfully, we got a nice breeze today, and I uh, got them parked over here in the shade for just a little bit while I uh, do this little update video to show you guys. So there you go. That is what a uh, whole bunch of goats in a stock trailer looks like. So one thing that we are trying to focus on is, um, we've been saying in several of our past videos, we're trying to downsize our goat herd. Um, we've already downsized some of our birds, some of our chickens, our geese, our ducks. Um, now when I pan over into the front field, you guys remember how many goats were out there now, look. There's not a lot, which, you can't see any of them right now because they're just out browsing around. There's a bunch of them laying un under the shade right there. But yeah, we are downsizing pretty good. And while we were sorting the goats, <clears throat> we found one of our Spanish goats, one of the adult Spanish goats over in the barn. Um, once we got them, we got all the kids in the barn. I'll tell you how we kind of did this. We got all these kids in the barn and then loaded them onto the trailer. And once they were into the trailer, I opened the barn gate back up and let all the big goats in there. And Rachel and I, I think we got five or six of the adult does out of the Kiko herd and they're in here. But there was one black Spanish goat in there, an adult, she's a couple years old, <clears throat> that has a, uh, what they call bottle jaw. She's got a swollen jaw and that is a good sign of a uh, parasite. She's got a heavy parasite load. So we're gonna go doctor her why I uh, have them locked up in the barn. Then we're gonna let them out because it is hot. But we wanted to come and uh, let you guys say your last goodbyes because you're probably never gonna see these goats again. They will be going off hopefully to uh, another farm somewhere you just never know where they'll end up i got a bunch of eyes staring at me you can kind of see them so anyways um i'm gonna quit jacking my jaw so i'm gonna go grab some medicine and i'm gonna show you this goat that i'm talking about and uh what if you guys have goats and you ever see this in the goat this is what you can expect it to be um, we've dealt with this a few times in the past and it can be very deadly because it is, like I said, it's a sign that that goat has a very heavy parasite load. So let me grab some medicine and I'll meet you at the barn. Okay, so I am headed to the barn. I've got a little concoction here of some meds that we are going to give this goat. And uh, let's see how it goes if I can even catch her. And I'll show you the goats that we are keeping from the kids that were born this year in this field. Lost, don't get me again. Okay, so there's the buck. The little young buck that we are going to be keeping right there. You guys can see him. 
And there's one of the does right there. That's the doe, that's the buck. And then another doe, she's already out of the uh, feet bunk. But white looking on back there. But this was this was probably the best looking buck out of all of them. If you guys remember, we had those black breasted bucks that looked really good. They had the black heads. But uh, this one here, his body formality and everything just seemed to be a lot stronger. Um, big wide neck, tall, a lot more mass. And here's the other little girl that you couldn't see very good. She's a really pretty goat. You come out there. All right, so let me see if I can find the goat with the bottle jaw. I know she's in here because she's got a yellow tag. She's a black goat with the yellow tag. I'm not seeing her. Okay, here she is right here, guys. See if I can get an angle on her. I'm gonna zoom in on her face and uh, show you guys. Do you, do you see how her jaw is kind of hanging down? See how underneath her uh, jaw, she's got that big thing hanging down. Let me show you a normal goat's face. See these goats right here? They don't have that hanging down. Oh, my camera looks like this. See a normal goat's head right there? Now she's the only one on our herd, on any of our goats on the farm that has that. Now, one thing I can do is I can grab her and then I can check. Here's a good side-by-side -side example of two goats that are the same. One on the left with the green tag, don't have the bottle draw. This one over here on the right does. So one thing you can do, if you ever get a goat like this, you can check their eyelids to see if they are pale, if they're anemic. That is the uh, first thing you can do. But just by seeing this here, like I said, we've had this happen a few times. So I'm certain I know what it is. So I'm just gonna grab her real quick and uh, give her the medicine. Give her the medicine real quick. Now she is she is a Spanish goat. Get back from the camera. Okay. A little more. She's sitting there chewing her cud. So I'm gonna show you guys something here. I don't know how well you can see this, but her eyelid is completely white. If she was a boar goat. If she was not a Spanish or Kiko, she would be dead by now. Um, boar goats, in our experience, are just not as hardy as these Spanish and Kikos. By the time you see a boar goat get that bottle jaw, they will more than likely lay down and die on you. Now this one here, she's still eating. Um, she's not super thin. She's starting to kind of get a little bit thin. But this medicine right here, it'll take a few days, but it should kill those parasites and it'll clear up and uh, her jaw should shrink back down. So this medicine is it's just really nasty medicine but it's pretty potent stuff. So we'll kind of keep an eye on her. Uh, she's number 20 yellow tag. I'll have to come back out here and uh, just kind of keep an eye on her and it's ideal if you got to go like this and you do worm them you don't have to worm the whole herd. Sometimes you have to let the goat herd's genetics take place. And uh, if you're sitting out here worming every time, at, the whole herd, every time you got one goat sick, um, you're gonna cause them problems. You're gonna drop their immunity to fight off, naturally, the worms that they get. So, you know, we always worm our goats case by case. Every farm does it different. We understand that. But when you have this many goats, and you got one goat that gets sick, it is a lot of work and it's very expensive to go through the whole herd, gather them all up, catch every one of them, run them through the chute, whatever you want to do, and doctor every one of them. But the worst thing about it is, is it drops their natural immunity to be able to fight these off, the parasites off their cell. So we'll, uh, we'll just watch her. We're not going to isolate her from the herd. We're not going to pin her up. Nothing like that. Like I said, she's still eating and drinking fine. She just has that swollen jaw and she's very anemic right now. But as I pan around, you can see none of the other goats have that. None of the other goats in here have scours or diarrhea. I didn't even see her with diarrhea. Normally that's one of the first signs you'll see in a sick goat is scours or diarrhea. But uh, this is another sign having that swollen jaw like that. So Bo, what do you think, buddy? We're getting rid of a bunch of your kids today. He still has some other kids over in the Pico pen, but they're not they're not full Pico or uh, Spanish.
All right, y'all want out? Come on. It's too hot to be cooped up in the barn. So like I said, we uh, pulled, I think five adult does out of the Kiko Spanish herd. They were actually all Kikos that we pulled out of here and they'll be going to the cell. There's the young little buck we're keeping. That is Bo's son, right there. And then there's Bo, that's the dad right there, the big New Zealand Kiko buck. So we'll see. He is a good looking goat. He is very young, but he has already grown a lot. He's very uh, husky. Oh, there's Mr. Leesky. said, oh, where'd my goats go, Dad? Where'd my goats go? Where you doing, Mr. Leesky? I'll feed you guys here in a little bit. I gotta haul these goats off. So anyways, there you guys go. Um, so we still have the side field closed, a little small field. I'll probably open it up later this evening and uh, let the goats, let the big goats back in there and the dogs back in there and uh, go from there. But uh, right now, it's like I said, it's 103 degrees and uh, I don't want to keep these goats in the stock trailer for too long. Even though we got a nice breeze and a uh, good, even though they're in the shade and we got a nice little breeze, I think still metal and I don't want to see look at these wasps. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them be for now and I'm gonna go haul these goats off and then whenever I get back this evening and it cools down, we'll come out and see how all the goats are doing and show you guys the final numbers and I'll let you guys know how many goats we actually hauled off to the sale. All right guys, so we are back from taking the goats to the auction. Fast forward several hours later and we actually took 44 total goats to the cell. We took 12 adult nannies or female goats and the rest were all kids. But uh, everyone else is waiting to eat. We already fed the goats actually, but we still gotta feed the dogs and feed some of the chickens and the birds. But um, yeah, so we got a lot, lot less mouse to feed now, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna have to do a recount and see how many total goats we have now. Uh, 44 that is uh, I'm gonna say we probably took at least about half of our numbers of goats down and uh, Going into fall and winter time. It's gonna make things a lot easier around the farm Like I said, it did hit 103 today and you can see the ducks are staying cool over there We keep water out all around the house for them all around the property um, you know, a lot of our birds are free range, they don't, they're not always in the pasture and stuff like that. So when they're in the yard or wherever else, they need access to fresh water. So we just try to leave it around for, you know, the dogs, the cats, and even sometimes we get wild squirrels and all that type of stuff. Because when it gets hot and dry like this, sometimes even the wild animals have a hard time trying to eat. But we're going to come over here and take a look at our new numbers that we have here. It is a lot quieter, I promise you that. Look at this. A whole lot less. Are you sad? Some of your friends gone? I don't think Yoshi and Yone mind it, mind it much. But now feeding, feeding time is going to be a lot faster. Um, we still got a few like Ebony right there. She still jumps up and wants to stick her head in the bucket. And then Shadow, she's laying over there by the feeder. She still does too. So we'll have to watch that. But uh, let me set the camera up and we'll, we'll go feed and see if it goes any better. Mojo, come on. Mojo, come on, bud. Mojo. <laughs> Ebony, I promise you. Know.
Come eat. Mojo, come on. Mojo, come on. Are you not gonna eat tonight or what? Come on, Mo, come. Mojo, come on. Mojo, come on. Come on. Come eat. Come on. Let's go eat. I know it's hot, brother. I got you a nice cold egg. Come on, come on. Come on, Mo. Mojo, come on. Come on. Mo, come. Come on. Mojo, come. Mo, come. Come on. You want me to wait till later to feed you or what? I said, yeah, I'm just too hot right now. I don't even feel like eating. Okay, you well, I tried. I don't know what else you can do if you don't feel like eating. We'll just have to wait and uh, feed him here in a little bit, I guess, when the sun goes down, because it is brutally hot right now. <laughs> we'll just kind of pan around and show you guys we do not have a bunch of big goats over here. Of course, you guys know ghost face. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 adults now. So, it's quite a bit of a downsize. And then, I don't know how many kids, we'll have to recount them as well. But, it's gonna be a lot quieter, for sure. Mo, you coming or not? Come on! Come on, Mojo! Nope, no part of it. And here is what's left in this field. There's still quite a bit of adults over here. Not as many young ones. That's the buck right there. He He's a good looking little buck. Definitely. Yeah, you're going to be a good looking buck. You're already growing really good. Cora, Leesky! They're over there rabbit hunting. I don't know if you guys can see them. There they go. They just took all. They're not worried about their food either. It's still way too hot. Come on, Cora! Come on, girl! Cora! Leesky! Come on! It's just so hot, nobody cares to eat but the goats. You guys will eat no matter what. You know what? Well, they still got a little food over there that we had left over from earlier whenever we were trying to sort them. I'm going to wait to feed them though. Get these waspers come up over here. There's some dang waspers. Man. I can come out here every day and kill these wasps and they just keep on coming and keep on coming. Laura, Leesky! Come on! I'm going to walk out here in the field a little bit to see. Well, as you can tell, it is a lot quieter over there in the little field. We'll keep, we'll probably keep the barn door closed just for a little bit before we let them in there, I guess. Cora, Leesky, come on! Cora's over by the pond. Hey, he just cannot stand these dang rabbits. Cora! Come on, girl! Here comes Leesky, man, but he ain't coming. They're just sitting over there with the rabbits. If I walk out here, usually, if they, uh, if Leesky thinks I'm gonna pet the goats or something, he'll come running. Leesky! Leesky! Come on! Hey! All right, so there's the goat that we doctored earlier. With the swollen jaw. And uh, you can tell she does not have scours or diarrhea. 
but it's a good sign. She's up and uh, she's wanting to eat. She knows it's dinner time. She came in here. She's like, yep. I'll just like, pick it out. We gotta fix that. What am I thinking? Why would I leave that door open? <laughs> She's blind. Seriously, did I just do that? I guess it's talking on this camera. Oh, they found the feeding bucket. Skeeter, you're not supposed to let them out, buddy. You two get back in there. How do you know that bucket was in here? Okay. Hey, Skeeter, they're gonna get you. Get in there. Come on. Hey. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Skeeter, she's gonna get you, buddy. Okay. There's food on the ground. Oh, here comes the dogs. You two girls, get in there. Come on. 1063 is my buddy though. She's one of my favorite Spanish goats. She's one of the originals we brought home. And of course, I left the door open and I left this little stall open. Look at that. Oh, here comes Miss Cora. Here comes Miss Cora. Cora made a big mistake, girl. All right, goats. Get in there. Hurry up. This is a bad example. Come on. Get in there. Get in here. Go, go, go. No! You're gonna get a ghost stone. Hey. Man. Ah, oh, you girls. Now they got wasp balls still up in there. Go. Alright, let's close it. Ah, I forgot to close the feed bunk stall. <laughs> we'll close it in a little bit. Where's Mr. Leesky at, huh? Where's Mr. Leesky at? Leesky, come on! <whistles> well, I guess you'll get to eat, Cora. Mr. Leesky's not. Alright, let's feed the goats. Feed you, Mr. Lisey. He's gonna have to wait. Please, come on. Come on, Cora. Cora, come on. Here you go. Come on, Cora. Cora, come on. There you go. Come eat. You better come eat. There comes Mr. Lisey finally. Are you coming to eat, mister? Well, I see you had to take a dip. He's soaking wet. Here you go. Here you go. Nice cold egg. Alright, guys. I was going to paint around a little bit. One last time. You guys can kind of see some of the goats we kept back. That is one of the doe wings we kept back from Bo. This year's kid, she is one of two, and that's another one right there. So they are actually re reunited with their moms because we didn't get rid of their moms. Uh oh, that was being kind of mean. They're doing establishing the, establishing the pecking order, but uh, they're not gonna hurt each other. They just kind of push each other around. Says, "Hey, I'm the older girl goat in here. You're not. Uh, you're not the boss. I am." But uh, it's a good feeling to downsize. Now, here's the deal. The more mama goats you have, the more babies you're gonna have, right? Year after year. But, 
when you go to sell those babies, you're gonna make more money. But in the other side of it, it's a lot more to take care of, a lot more to manage, a lot more feed, a lot more hay. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And um, you know, our numbers were getting kind of high for the amount of property that we have. This number here is a good number for the amount of property. Now, we had a very good year as far as rain goes. So of course they still got tons of green. This field's got tons of green in it. So they got plenty of food to go in the fall and we got plenty of hay to last, but it will just last them a lot longer. A lot, a lot of the food that we feed will go to more of these uh, goats and rather than a large number, if you get what I'm saying. So anyways, um, there you go. We are downsized for 2023. And uh, Bo, I have not seen him start breeding these girls yet. So it's probably gonna be after Christmas before they start having babies. Now just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not breeding, of course. But uh, we'll just have to stay tuned for that and see what happens. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That is today's video. I just wanted to kind of vlog this to kind of keep track. Um, we try to do that every year that we take animals to the sale. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, can't you make more money if you sell the goats off your farm instead of taking them to an auction? And yes and no. Um, a lot of times you just get people that want to buy one or two from you. So it's more of a waste of time sitting around waiting for people to come by and then you got to pin them all up and let them pick a couple out then you let them go and then the next person wants to come you pin them up i mean it's just it's way more time consuming and yes usually you can make a little bit more money doing that but hopefully the prices are high at the sale barn and uh we'll get a good amount of uh money back to put into feed for next year so anyways guys thank you so much uh for clicking on this video um, I know some of you guys will be sad. It's always a sad time when you got to uh, downsize from your animals because you always got you always got a, an attachment. And yes, we still have Penelope and Henry. We did not get rid of the bottle babies. We did get rid of Daryl. If you guys remember Daryl, he is now gone. So subscribe for not subscribe. Like this video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time. You see that little young one back there? She's like, oh, I'm just going to stay back for a little bit.